in this video, we're going to cover how to create a lead form as you are creating your ad. So you can set up lead forms beforehand in the publishing tools section of Meta Business Suite, but you also can go ahead and build your lead form right here as you build your ad. So the first thing to know is this needs to be the leads objective. And at the ad set level, we would have needed to select instant form in order to get to this screen. So we are now going to the very bottom section of the ad itself, and we're gonna see this create form button. So we'll go ahead and create this, and we're gonna give this a name. This is buyer 1% cash back rebate. Now we have an option to use more volume, higher intent, and then some people might see this option that says rich creative. So we are not gonna use rich creative. Not everybody even has the availability to use it. We're gonna select higher intent. So now we're gonna go into the intro and we can upload an image or we can just use the image from your ad. The image from the ad is just fine. And now we need to go ahead and get into the headline. So I want to recommend that the headline is very much focused on the offer. So this is the headline that we are using. Buying in California, get 1% of the home's purchase price in cash. Okay, now we're gonna do some details. Most people really do a lot of additional text in this section. We wanna keep it very short and sweet. So we wanna tell them why they're doing this and what to do next. So see if you qualify for this California home buyer cashback offer or $7,500 or more, click next to continue. So again, we're keeping it short and sweet. Now we can go down into the questions. There is an opportunity to use conditional logic in your forms. We're not gonna cover that in this video. We are just gonna go through the basic questions. So by default, we've got email and full name. Right here, I am going to do a message that says, please review and edit this info to be your most up-to-date contact info to claim this offer. So we want to make sure that we highlight the fact that this may not be their most accurate contact info, and we want them to go ahead and edit that if necessary. So we are just going to add email, full name, phone number. We're going to do phone number at the top because that is the most important. And then we have these other options down here. I'm not going to select any of these, but if you need to, you definitely can. And then we are going to add one conditional question or one question that they need to manually type in or select. So we can do short answer or multiple choice. So we're going to go with short answer and we're going to say, are you planning on purchasing a home in California? If so, what area are you considering? And we just want this to be something that forces them to go ahead and really be intentional about filling this out. That custom question is gonna be on the very first screen. Then we are going to have the contact information. We've got privacy policy. So we are going to do go.igotbates.com forward slash privacy. And this will be privacy policy. You can add a custom disclaimer if you want to, or you can skip it. Then we're gonna go through review screen and message for leads. So this screen is extremely important. We do not want to say, thanks, you're all set. So that is what we see by default when we are creating a lead form. We want to tell them they are not done yet. So it's pretty much the exact opposite of what Facebook is telling us. So wait, you're not done yet. Click the button below to finish. And then we're going to be a little bit more descriptive about their next step. You're almost there, but one more step. Click the button to schedule a 15 minute initial call to see if you qualify for the special 1% cashback offer, California home buyers. And we are gonna select the view website option. And the link that we are going to add is going to be the booking link. On our call to action text, we're going to say, schedule your call to claim this offer. We're just going to keep it a little bit shorter. And that is it. We are now going to go ahead and create that form. And now we've got that form right here. So just keep in mind that if you publish a form, you can no longer edit it. You would have to duplicate that and then switch it up from there. So 
This is our lead form. We are generating leads and then we are driving them to schedule a call. That is something that I would recommend for any business that focuses on appointments. Now, we do want to make sure that we've got our website events turned on. We've got our UTM parameters in there. But in terms of our form, we are good to go and we are going to have much more success with this form with our custom question by customizing the end screen than we would if we just stuck with the recommendations that Facebook gives us directly. Hope that helps and I'll see you back on the next video.